how I got this idea by going to a video game store called GameStop, and I uh, was going to reserve uh, NBA 2K, I think 14 last year, and they asked me to reserve four other more games, and I never heard of it, and they were like, you can subscribe to Game Informer, which is a magazine, for $30 a month, and I was in the back of my head like, why not just make an app since everyone's on their phone anyway? So um, that's how I started, you know, developing the idea. I started in September, and I had to make a business plan, uh, find developers. Started developing it in May, and then um, we hit a ton of problems, and it was finally released August twenty eighth, two thousand fourteen. Uh, well, I'm a huge Apple fan, so I like the i iPhone and all that. Mm -hmm. But I figured i games. It's kind of like like my game. So like when you open it. You know, you have your watch list on games you're watching and, you know, games you're interested in. So why not associate the title with something that's about yourself? So, like, the iPhone is your phone. So, the iGames, these are the games that interest me that I want to learn about. iGames, you pretty much open it up and there's any video game console you ever that has ever came out. So, you can look up anything that's come came out from, like, a while ago to, like, now, like, Xbox One or PS4. And there's games that... You know, there's every game on there for that console, plus games that haven't even come out yet. So, like, when I had the issue, oh, when I was at GameStop and I never heard of those four games, I was like, how do you educate yourself on them? And they're like, oh, get subscribe to this magazine or go online. Well, you can just use my app to educate you on those game on future games coming soon, whatever. Um, it's just a basic information app to make, you know, gamers around the world's life easier.